Hello, it's John here for another 850 tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is creating a scrolling credits in UMG in Unreal 4. So let's just jump straight in and do this. First thing I'm going to need to do is create a widget. So I'm just going to right click, get user interface, and Bluetooth. Bluetooth? <laughs> Blueprint. And I'm going to call this options. Because I'm going to trigger this out of my options. Or I could call it credits, doesn't really matter what we call it. And before I remember, we need to, on our new level, or where we're doing this, you need to call this in. So at the moment, I'm just constructing a widget, options widget, and I'm just going to add that to the viewport. Nice and simple. Cool, and then let's open our widget. So at the moment, I've got nothing in here. Let's quickly just create this. So I'm going to add an image. And this is going to be my backdrop, which is 1920 by 1080. And I just like to add two. Ah, right on the wrong one. 1922 by 10 H2. Like I said, I like to add two just on either side, just to make sure nothing gets missed. And let's add my backdrop, which is just this little texture here. Nice and simple. Cool, that's my backdrop. I'm going to hit F2 and rename it. It's good practice just to keep renaming things. I'm mainly telling this to myself because I also get to rename things. This is just going to be a solid black, so I don't need to worry about how precise I want to be on this one. And I don't need an image for this because I'm just going to tint it black as so. And rename black. Cool beans. And finally, we need one more image, and this is going to be a text. And what I should do is actually find out what size this is. So these are my credits, and my input size is 1920 by 2160. So 1920 by 2160. And let's just put you in the corner. And finally, drag you over here. Cool, so there we go, those are my credits. Now we need to start animating these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to add to create a new animation. And I'm gonna call this scrolling credits. Cool, hit enter, and if we click on this, we have this timeline which we can play with. Oops, I forgot to rename you. Text will do. And so let's add a timeline. Our black, what we want is we're going to want our black to fade in. We're going to want our black to fade in. So if we go to color and opacity, and let's say after about half a second, be fully visible. Prior to that, if we click this drop down, we can set the opacity to zero. And yeah, let's move it across a bit. And what we could also do is we can add a visibility and just make sure that we're toggling that we can also toggle that invisibility. So from the start, it definitely wants to be hidden. For sure, we want you to be hidden. And let's get our text. And we're going to do the same. We're going to add a color and opacity. And about here, I want it to be fully visible. Here, fully invisible. And again, let's just add a visibility just to confirm it. Hidden, cool. And we are not done there. Next, what we're going to want to do is, wait, let's just play it. Cool, credits appear. Now from about this point here, we're gonna want these to scroll and just sort of like that. What we could do is add a transform and then move it up that way, but we run the risk of potentially cutting off our images and that's a hassle. So let's not do that. What we're gonna do instead is find a text. You don't know, no, let's, let's add the transform first. Find a transform. 
and let's give it a go. Just so we can see, about over two seconds. Yeah, about over two seconds. Let's move it. So translation. Set to minus, minus, minus. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Could have, yeah, just as I thought, this is going to cut off what we got. So you see how our image is sort of ending here. That's not at all what we want to do. It's actually the opposite of what we want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete you. Get out of here, translation. Cool. And we're going to click on add text. And what we should do is let's do it from here. So let's add a keyframe from this point, and this is created as an offset on the Y position. And now over two seconds, let's roll said offset. Ooh, wait, way too far. And there we go. That's golden. Cool. And at this point as well, we're probably going to want to toggle our visibility. So we're going to press this one to add a keyframe and move over here and set you back to invisible. And that's my cat. Not right now, dude. We got stuff to do. And I'm just going to set you to definitely go invisible there. And same for you, you're already invisible there. Cool, let's trigger this, let's fire this off. So inside our graph editor, what I'm gonna do real quick is grab an if statement, or a branch, I guess. And if true, play said animation. Now we've got a whole bunch of cool options in here, but we don't really need them. So I'm just gonna grab my animation, which is over on the left hand side, get it. Wire it up. I've only got one animation, so that's nice and handy. And uh, we're gonna want a input key. Is input key down? And we're gonna want a player controller. Uh, get the controller. Go wire you up, tell you what we want, and I'll probably just use down. Alternatively, I suppose what we could have done is we could drop a button here, because this is gonna be a menu screen, and on the menu key we'll have, on the button press, we'll probably do that. But for now, just for testing, I just wanna fire it off by pressing down. So, when down is pressed, be awesome, play this. All right, now, in theory, in theory, that should be good. But there's only one way to find out. Press the old test button. And make player. And I press down. And nothing's happening. See what I mean by in theory that should have worked? What have I missed? Event tick, branch, a gamepad down. We want keyboard down and I should play. But you'd have also noticed that the black was there and it shouldn't be there. Why are you Mr. Black being visible? Be hidden from the start and have a zero opacity. Right, let's try that again. Hopefully, this should work now. Okay, it's made the player. Now if I press down, it creates it. Everything scrolls way too fast though. Okay, I can press down and just keep re-triggering it.
And there we go, that's quite good. I'm gonna need to slow this down though. That offset is way too fast. So let's, let's just drag all these points and go a whole lot more right with them. So have this maybe of like five seconds. And the black so just toggled and like, I'd like the fade out to be a bit longer than the black. Right, let's just rewind, press play, so we don't have to, oops, yeah. What? No, set a new start point. New loop point. There we go. Click the wrong button. Look at that, look at that go. Nice. And let's one more time, good luck. Let's just see how it looks. What are you doing to me? Cool, there we go, we have got a scrolling credit. Hope you found that useful and thanks for your time.